Hey guys, it's Heather Holiday, and I just wanted to kind of go over some of my favorite tips and tricks. If you plan on going to R4 this year, there are always so many questions and a lot of newer agents that are always like, what to expect? I'm not sure. So I do have some of my favorite tips that I like to pass along. One, you're going to want to bring a lot of business cards. I personally have a different set of business cards that I bring just for events like this. I do uh, add your location of the areas that you serve, maybe in a fun map because we're not all well versed on different cities and areas and states and all of that. Make sure your business address is also on your card. And I like to leave a little white space in the back of my business cards because it allows somebody to kind of maybe jot down a note uh, to remember the conversation that you had. So once you have those business cards, don't just leave them in a shoebox. Make sure, put them in a spreadsheet. Make sure to send out maybe a video, send out note cards. I absolutely love this. You know, you get your little note cards, you know, and it's just a little note to remember the conversation that you actually had. You can also send out an email. I think the note cards and a video message are absolutely great. Not a blanketed generic but something that's meaningful. So you remember that conversation, it's going to help you grow that relationship that you had with somebody. So make sure to bring lots of business cards, have a QR code. Uh, you can use blink, whatever to uh, have your V card on it, anything like that, but maybe make a separate business card for these special events versus the one that you normally pass out. Number two is network, network, network. Same thing goes with that business card, sending out those note cards. Make sure you have a plan for a follow-up. But if you are going with a large group, separate from that group. Separate. My agents always knew, like, yes, I see you all the time. You will not see me at R4. I'm going to be out meeting new people. Maybe we'll meet up for dinner or cocktails or, or an event or something like that. Yes, feel free if it's all of your, your new time, but make sure to venture out Get out of your comfort zone, sit with people you don't know, break apart. Uh, there was always a great app called like Audio Note. All the agents, we would all go to different classes and record them and then share them later. But it, it'll help you all grow as far as the classes, but also meeting new people. Don't stay with the people that you already know. Venture out, meet new people. This is a global conference. You're going to have an amazing time meeting new people networking, and make sure you have a plan for that follow-up so that you can really uh, hone into those relationships that you're going to be growing. It's going to become the best week of the year every year because you're going to see your friends from around the world uh, all the time as you go to R4s. If it's your first R4, make sure to go to the newbie session, little meetup. You're going to meet other people. This is their first time too. You're going to get uh, people that go all the time to give you other great advice and don't forget to make sure to stop by the global exchange tables. Lots of great global friends. I would just maybe stay away from all of those wonderful, fantastic drinks that they have for you because you will get drunk. So just, just a little warning about that. And my gosh, probably should be my number one is to bring comfortable shoes, lots of lip balm, a little lotion, and make sure to hydrate yourself. Uh, coming from Florida, now from Tennessee, my hair loves Vegas. Um, my feet does not. You're going to do over 20,000 steps a day. So bring something that's super comfortable. I will most likely be in flip flops or sneakers, depending on the weather the entire time. Comfortable sneakers that you wear all the time, not brand new ones uh, that you haven't worn before. Lots of lip balm. You're going to need that. Some lotion. And I actually get me some extra hydrating water that's in all the little gift stores just to make sure, because you will dehydrate, make sure to drink lots and lots and lots of water. I always have a couple in my bag. Even if you don't think you need it, you actually need it. So those huge tips uh, from me, my shoes, all that. And of course, if you're going to bring fun swag, I think it's a great idea. One, make it memorable. Make it maybe something that has to do with your area location so that people will be able to see it. I love Elizabeth Baker makes these earrings. It has her information on the back. I can wear them every single day. Absolutely favorite pair of earrings. Um, I would keep them small, whatever your swag is. If you're going to have something big, just know you're lugging that around the entire week and probably just trying to get away from it. But, you know, think of something that's not a one and done. 
That's Elizabeth Baker's favorite uh, quote. Not a one and done, something that people can use over and over, brand it to yourself, maybe make it something that represents your area. That's always going to be great. And of course, if you see me on the halls, make sure to stop and say hello. I look forward to seeing everyone. I can't wait. Big 50th anniversary. There is going to be so much fun to be had. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. Chat soon. Bye, everyone.